Anyone who knows me knows I have a thing for mid-century signage. I cannot resist an old neon sign, and I've spent years photographing their arrows, spires, boomerangs, and dingbats. But I am especially obsessed with Sputniks. In the late 1950s, spiky, futuristic balls began falling into orbit around liquor stores, bowling alleys, and motor courts. All thanks to the excitement following the success of Earth's first artificial satellite, Russia's Sputnik 1. As a result, these roadside orbs became known as Sputniks, although they more closely resembled America's satellite, Vanguard 1, launched in 1958 and still in orbit. Sputnik burned up after three months. Take that, Russia. I have even made a couple of Sputniks for myself. This was one of my very first projects. I learned to form aluminum making this. And today, I get to start fabrication on a trio of Sputniks, all destined for a drive-in movie theater. I will be covering in more detail how I made these in the next video, in a subsequent video, in some upcoming video. It's a grab bag here at Wesley's Workshop. quick jig I built off camera. A few pieces of plywood, a couple of holes aligned horizontally, a little wedge.
So, if you've seen the video where I create the originals for this, um, I'll link that down in the description, you know how much trouble I went through to bore out the center of the original for this. Well, it seems I'm not done, because three of these have got to fit over this, which is how they're going to be mounted. I forgot about that, and I'm just kind of improvising this, so we'll see what happens. idea if this extension is even going to work. <laughs> it's like a resin sausage. That worked far better than I expected it to, and I even managed to stay pretty centered. But that's as far as I can get without risking damaging my jig. So the rest I'm gonna have to do manually. One inch most of the way through to give the pipe some wiggle room. Seven eighths right at the end to hug it. Again, it was a waste of 23 cents. Well, um, I have to do it the hard way. Alright, well, after doing that for a while, I decided to stop and rethink things. Now, you may ask, why didn't I just take one nut, thread it all the way down to the bottom of the thread, and drive it on that way? Well, I tried that, and what would happen is it would get down here, bottom out, go cockeyed, jam completely, and I just couldn't get it off again. So, what I thought was I could use a coupling nut, which, in case you don't know, is just a long hex nut. Drive it on the same way as before, 
but without all this jam nut nonsense. Unfortunately, nobody local had one the right size, and I couldn't wait to have one delivered. So I thought I'd make my own tool. I took a 3 8 inch bolt, cut off the threads, drilled it, tapped it, and ended up with this little guy. Hopefully I can just thread this on here and drive it on like before. Let's see how that works. It works. I patent it, but again, coupling nut. Did I mention I love Sputniks?